Hey everyone, hope each and every one of you had a lovely Christmas with your friends and family. In today's video, shirts. So we spoke a lot about suits. You gotta remember, even though you have a suit fitted to the T, if you have a shirt that doesn't fit you, it's still gonna ruin your outfit. Remember that the chain is only as strong as its weakest link. In my opinion, the shirt is the top essential clothing piece that every man needs to have in their wardrobe. Even if your profession doesn't require you to wear business formals, I still think that every man needs to have at least one fitted dress shirt in their wardrobe. However, for the majority of you guys, myself included, you probably wear shirts on a daily basis. Before COVID, I mean. So why does it matter? Fitted, unfitted? I think by now we know the reality that we all judge a book by its cover. Wearing an unfitted shirt is not only going to make you uncomfortable, but it's also going to ruin your professional image. But don't worry gents, in today's video, we're going to be discussing how a shirt should properly fit. First things first, the armholes. A major fit that most of us neglect. Well, I definitely did. The armhole fit is going to dictate how the other parts of the shirt is going to fit, such as the shoulders, the underarms, and also the chest. Just like any piece of clothing off the rack, manufacturers create shirts with larger armholes just to fit to the masses. Ultimately, only you will be able to tell how the armhole would feel. Just because visually it looks fine, it's important to go deeper on paying attention on how it feels. For the perfect armhole fit, it should be as small as possible without restricting any of your movement. When you're out buying shirts, be sure to move around in the shirt to see if there's any restriction in your movement. For armholes that are cut too high, you'll feel your movement being restricted and also bites around your armpits. For armholes that are too low, you'll see fabrics hanging on your arms, giving you that untapered look. And every time you lift your arms up, your shirt is gonna go untucked. The next fit is the shoulder seam. Unlike suits, the seam of the shoulder should rest nicely on the shoulder bone in your natural stance. No exceptions whatsoever unless you want sloppy looking shirts. If the seam of the shoulders go beyond your shoulder bone, it's gonna make you look sloppy and the shirt is gonna look oversized. If it goes too high, it's gonna restrict your movement overall and it's just gonna make you look weird. So get this part right. The next fit, the collar. With the collar, fasten the top button and see how you feel. The best collar fits are the ones that are comfortable and close to your neck. Ideally, you should be able to insert two fingers in your collar without much pull. Remember, comfortably not forcefully. Anything more than two fingers would mean that your collar is too large. On the flip side, if you're struggling to even fasten the top button or even the slightest constriction of your neck when the top button is fastened, then the collar is too small. Moving on, the torso. Bad fits are easy to spot with this one as well. If you have trouble fastening the buttons of your shirt or see visible pulling on the shirt itself, the torso is too small. On the flip side, if your shirt is too big, you'll see excess fabric on the waist down, which is commonly known as the muffin top. The right torso is when you're able to fasten all the button with ease. Ideally, there should not be any pulling on the shirt. And if your shirt is tucked in, there should not be any billowing of fabric. Also, in my opinion, the shirt should be tapered down from the chest to the waist. We all have different body types, so finding the right torso fit or any fit for that matter is not going to be easy, especially if you're shopping for shirts off the rack. A pro tip, find a tailor. Just for a few bucks, an experienced tailor is going to be able to add darts at the front or back of your shirt just to give you that tapered look. So befriend the tailor. Alright guys, let's discuss the length of the shirt. With the length of the shirt, it really depends on your preference, so ask yourself, are you going to be wearing this shirt tucked in or untucked? But you gotta remember that most of the shirts off the rack have very long dress shirts. In those cases, be sure your shirt is tucked in at all times. However, some brands offer shirts that can be worn tucked in or untucked. If you're planning to wear the dress shirt untucked, you gotta remember that the ideal length of the shirt is the hem of the shirt should end mid-crotch. This length is perfect because it gives you the option to wear it untucked or tucked in depending on the occasion. Moving on, the sleeves. If you're shopping off the rack shirts, the sleeves will highly depend on the fit of the shirt. It could be a classic fit or it could be a tailored fit. Anything too tight and is visibly constricting your biceps is going to be a massive warning sign that your sleeves are too tight. On the flip side, if the fabric of your shirt starts bulging out of control, it's a warning sign that your sleeves are too loose. The right fit for your sleeves should be the ones that are tapered from your arms to your forearms and should be neither be too tight or too loose. And if you're out and about trying out shirts, be sure to try the shirts on and see if it accommodates your natural movements. 
In regards to the length of the sleeves, the cuff should fall on the base of your thumb in your natural stance. Alright gents, last but not least, the shirt cuff. The cuff should fit comfortably around your wrist but should be tight enough when buttoned and doesn't slide over your hands. A properly fitted cuff is just as important as the shirt sleeves to ensure that the cuff hits the right points of your arms. If you're getting one that's bespoke, be sure to keep in mind the watches that you're going to pair your shirt with and the size of the watch. Because the last mistake you want is to not be able to wear the shirt with your favorite watch. So that's it guys, a quick video on how your shirt should fit. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. We release a video every Sunday, 9 a.m. GMT, plus 8, or MYT. As always, stay dapper. Happy holidays, and I'll see you guys real soon.